what is an algorithm so let's look at the definition of an algorithm an algorithm is a sequence of unambiguous instructions which can be used to solve a problem so it is a sequence of unambiguous instructions for solving a problem so this sequence of unambiguous instructions is basically the method the problem solving method that actually solves the problem so an algorithm in other words is just a problem solving method now we don't what sort of problems do we mean here we particularly mean computational problems not just any kind of problem and what is a computational problem well it's a problem whose solution can be implemented in theory on a computer so an algorithm is a sequence of unambiguous instructions for solving a problem which can be implemented which can be implemented as a program on a computer okay so it can be implemented on a computer and this this implementation is basically a program the implementation of the algorithm is a program so let's take uh, a couple of examples of problems that are not computational so problems that are not computational okay so one example that comes to my mind is um what's the cure for cancer this is a very important problem but it's not a computational problem another example is how do i convince my boss to give me a raise so we are concerned here only about computational problems which can be solved on a computer so let's take an example of a computational problem the sorting problem so what's the sorting problem well you are given a sequence of n numbers and let's call those numbers a1 a2 a3 and so on till an so you are given as input so this is the input to the problem so the specification of the problem should include a description of what the input to the problem is going to be and it should also include the desired output desired output should also be specified so we want to return an uh, as output a reordering a reordering of these n numbers okay so you just permute uh, we're talking about a reordering or a permutation of these n numbers a rearrangement 
of these n numbers. Let's call that reordering a1 prime, a2 prime, and so on till a n prime. And it's not just any reordering. It's a reordering such that the smallest number is a1 prime, the next smallest number is a2 prime, and so on. So it's a reordering of these numbers in increasing order. Now some, some of these numbers can be identical, so there can be duplicates here, which is why, strictly speaking, it's not really uh, this is not really an increasing sequence, it's a non-decreasing sequence. So it's a reordering of these n numbers uh, effectively in non-decreasing order. For example, let's say um, Let's say you're given this sequence, 31, 41, 59, 26, 41, 58. Let's just take these six numbers. So this is the input to the problem. This is an instance of the input. And we need an algorithm that's going to transform this input or reorder this input into non-decreasing order. So the desired output is going to be 26, 31, 41, 41, 58, and 59. So this is the specification of the problem, the specification of the sorting problem. The input to the problem is a sequence of n numbers, and the output is a reordering of these n numbers in non-decreasing order. So let's look at an example of an algorithm that solves this sorting problem. So let's say that, let's take the same example and suppose that the six numbers that we saw here are given to you in an array called A. So 31, 41, 26, 41, and 58. So this is the input array A. This is the input. And let's say that we want to, uh, let's say that the output array, which contains these numbers in non-decreasing order, is different from the input array. Later on, we'll see how to solve the sorting problem uh, such that you don't need to use any extra space over and above the input array. For the sake of simplicity here, let's just assume that we need to generate the sorted sequence in another output array. Now, here's one simple algorithm for sorting this input sequence. We know that in the sorted array, the first element here is going to be the smallest element from the input array because the smallest element should appear at the beginning of the sorted sequence. The smallest element here is 26, so we'll put 26 here and delete 26 from the input array. Then among the numbers that remain, pick the next smallest, the, the smallest number among the numbers that remain or equivalently the second smallest number from the original array. So what's the smallest number from the remaining numbers? 31. And this 31 will become the second element, the second uh, number in the sorted sequence because it's the second smallest element. So we can remove 31 now. And then again from the numbers that remain, pick the smallest, that's 41, 
you delete 41 from here. Among the three that remain, we again pick the smallest. That's 41 again. The next small, uh, the smaller of these two numbers is 58. So we put 58 here and 59. So what was the algorithm? In each, in each step, what we did was we selected the smallest number from A and we put that number into the first or you can say the, the next empty slot in O. and delete it from A. This is roughly the algorithm. And we actually repeated this. So if the uh, input array A was of size N, then we repeat we repeat the uh, we repeat these steps N times. And in each step, what we are doing is we are adding one more, one additional number to the output sequence. Now, because this algorithm works by selecting the smallest number from whatever is left in each step, it's called selection sort. We'll look at selection sort in uh, greater detail later on in this uh, video series. Right now, I just wanted to show an example of an algorithm that solves the sorting problem. So to summarize, uh, given a computational problem, an algorithm is a sequence of unambiguous instructions or a method to solve the problem. And an algorithm can be implemented on a computer as a program. The program is going to take an instance of the specified input and transform it into the required output. So this covers the basic definition of what an algorithm is.